They have entered the I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Jungle as late arrivals. And Ian Lee and Kezia Dugdale were thrown straight into the deep end on Thursday night, as they were immediately forced to prove themselves in the politically themed battle for 10 Downing Creek Bush Tucker trial. However, despite the campmates tipping the Scottish Labour MSP for success, it was funny man Ian who reigned victorious, and was crowned Jungle Prime Minister, after bagging all six stars on offer. Scroll down for video. Let's go, Ian Lee and Kezia Dugdale were thrown into the deep end on Thursday, as they were forced to prove themselves in the politically battle for 10 Downing Creek Bush Tucker trial. Main man, however, despite the camp mates tipping the Scottish Labour MSP for success, it was funny man Ian who reigned victorious, and was crowned jungle prime minister. The challenge saw the newbies crawl through two perspex tunnels, made up of five politically themed chambers, and search for stars nestled between an array of jungle critters. Related articles previous. 1. 2. Next. I'm a celebrity, did he just let one rip on live TV? I'm a celebrity, bikini clad Georgia Toff Toffalo flaunts. I fought off the amorous advances of Brando, Noel Coward AND. Share this article. Share script DM. Later, bundle, function, if, DM. Rotator, new DM. Rotator, P22, pages ice, 1, page count, 2.0, active class, active, rotate, false, dollar, number P22. Share, dot on, click, function, DMS. Facebook. Post top, related. The winner not only earned the title of Jungle Prime Minister, but also their team the best camp and a meal that night, in the show's annual twist, while the loser resorted to rice and beans and snake rock. Kicking their stint off with a bang, the pair first faced Sicola Sturgeon, which saw them frantically search through stinking fish guts to find the first star. Challenge accepted, the challenge saw the newbies crawl through two perspex tunnels, made up of five politically themed chambers, and search for stars nestled between jungle critters. Vile, kicking their stint off with a bang, the pair first faced Sicola Sturgeon, which saw them frantically search through stinking fish guts to find the first star. Success story, Ian immediately steamed ahead and made his way into the next chamber before Kezia had even found her first. Help. Kezia struggled throughout the trial. Ian located the trophy and headed to the next chamber, Margaret Scratcher, with ease and had found his second star among the mealworms, crickets and cockroaches before Kezia had found her first. The politician finally moved to the next level, but Ian was already steaming ahead and battling against mud crabs in the third chamber, Jeremy Clobin. While Kezia eventually caught up with him, the comedian was always just one step ahead, and soon moved on to Tony Scare a box full of snakes. Swamped, Ian located the trophy and headed to the next chamber, Margaret Scratcher, with ease, finding his star among the mealworms, crickets and cockroaches. Neck and neck, Ian steamed ahead to battle crabs in the aptly titled Jeremy Clobin, but Kezia soon caught up. They've got bite, Kezia was not keen on the mud crabs as she searched for her star. Not letting the creatures face him however, the talk radio host quickly released the final two stars and rang the bell, indicating him the winner, and naming him Prime Minister. However, the incident was made more hilarious by the fact the other campmates had all backed Kezia to win, ahead of the trial. Joking, well this is awkward, isn't it? Ian then selected the celebrities joining him for a night of food, naming Shappy, Jenny, Dennis. Amir and Stanley leaving the others in Snake Rock with their leader Kezia. Terrifying, while Kezia eventually caught up with him, the comedian was always just one step ahead, and soon moved on to Tony Scare, a box full of snakes. Success, not letting the creatures face him however, the talk radio host quickly released the final two stars and rang the bell, indicating him the winner, and naming him Prime Minister. Defeated. Kezia accepted Ian's handshake after the trial. The trial marks the pair's first televised appearance on the reality star. Before arriving in Australia, Kezia had already prompted criticism for leaving her constituents behind, 
while TV and radio presenter Ian hinted at what's to come when he said he was basically paid to be annoying. Speaking before she arrived in the jungle, Kezia said, People have definitely seen me deal with a few rats and snakes in my time. Awkward, however, the incident was made more hilarious by the fact the other campmates had all backed Kezia to win, ahead of the trial, above. Main man, Ian then selected the celebrities joining him for a night of food, as the newly appointed jungle prime minister. Divided, he selected Shappy, Jenny, Dennis, Amir and Stanley, leaving the others in Snake Rock with their leader Kezia. I'm tougher than people think I am you don't get the top of politics without a thick skin but I think the jungle is going to be a lot tougher. On the public's reaction, she added, I think people's overriding emotion will be, first and foremost, shock. I think there will be a few people angry. They will be angry because they will say I should be doing my day job and I am going to be away. I understand that anger. I've seen them be angry over similar things other people have done but I can't help but think that it is an amazing opportunity to talk to millions of people about the Labour Party, its values, and how it is different. Heading in, Kezia and I and headed into the I'm a Celebrity Camp on Wednesday in scenes set to air on Thursday's show. Coming up. Campers including Georgia Tafalo, left, and Rebecca Vardy, right, will be forced to share the Australian camp, as of Wednesday. Moving in, the 11 campmates will be opening up to two more stars. I am not going to talk about politics all the time but it is who I am, what I do and I can't help it. Did I tell anyone beforehand? Other than my partner and office manager, I didn't tell anyone about the show. Meanwhile, talk radio presenter Ian seemed to have a more light-hearted approach to his entrance. He said, basically I'm paid to be annoying. I don't consider myself a leader I'm a follower, if I am called upon to lead it will spell disaster. Mucking in, Kezia says she's used to dealing with rats and snakes in her day job. Going in, father of two Ian has said he's hopeful about losing some weight in the jungle. He concluded, I don't think the jungle will change me, think I'm going to change the jungle. He went on to say, another reason for doing it is I have put on quite a lot of weight over the last couple of years. Being a parent, you pick food off your kids' plates. This is an opportunity to lose weight. I want to lose a couple of stone whilst I am there. I am fine with not eating much. Bring it on. Getting used to things, he says he doesn't consider himself a natural leader. Making friends, outside camp, Kezia has already angered some by leaving her constituents behind. Man down. Audiences were stunned to learn that contestant Jack Maynard had been ejected from camp on Tuesday, without saying goodbye. Elsewhere in the show, Rebecca Vardy and Georgia Tafalo took on the Bush Tucker trial. In worst dates, the pair had to munch on some of the grossest jungle grub including fish eyes, a sheep's anus and an ostrich foot. However, despite their initial reservations, the pair did really well and managed to take back to camp a total of 8 out of 9 stars. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here returns to ITV on Thursday night, 23.11.17, where the two new arrivals will go head to head in the Bush Tucker trial. Go girls, on Wednesday's show Becky Vardy, left, and Georgia Toff Toffalo, right, left viewers stunned, after bagging a huge 8 out of 9 stars in the dreaded eating trial. Get me out of here. The girls were forced to choke down the likes of live mealworms and spiders, a bull's penis, a pig's anus and even an ostrich's foot, in order to provide food for camp. Delicious, after only failing on one delicacy however, due to timing rather than disgust, viewers immediately took to Twitter to praise the duo.